Hey, you know one of the number one questions I get over and over again from real estate investors, that is, should I move my rental property into a limited liability company? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you why you should be looking at moving your rental property into an LLC, and also when you should avoid moving that property into an LLC, because there are serious ramifications that could come from putting a property into an LLC too early. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first one's pretty straightforward, right? Should you put that property that you own into a limited liability company? Well, the general answer is yes. If I have a rental property right here and I own it in my own name, obviously holding that property in my own name is going to create risk for me. Also, it's gonna create risk for that property, meaning this. If I get sued personally, a creditor could take or go after any assets that I own in my own name. So by taking that property that I have currently, this rental property, and getting it out of my name and putting it into an LLC like this, I'm effectively removing it beyond the reach of a personal creditor. Now, I mean, when would you be sued? Well, there are lots of ways in which you could be sued. You could be sued because you're involved in a car accident. You could be sued because you've entered into a lease agreement with someone and now you have to default on the lease because the economy has crashed. So there's lots of different reasons why you can be involved in a lawsuit. But the key is we wanna make sure that if you are involved in a lawsuit, you've taken every step, every precaution you can to get the assets out of your name. So for asset protection purposes, the answer to this is yes, you should put this rental into the LLC. And of course you're down here as the member, or if you use one of my anonymity strategies that I talk about, you would have a Wyoming limited liability company down here as the owner of your LLC. So number one, asset protection. Two, the second reason why you'd want to consider moving that property into the LLC is because by moving it into there, when you set up a structure like this with a Wyoming holding company, you can actually improve your ability to borrow by the way your tax return looks with the income that flows out of this limited liability company from the, from the rents. What am I getting at there? What I mean is this, is that when you have an, uh, an LLC set up, you'd create this as a disregarded entity. It means it doesn't have to file a tax return. And then you're going to set up this holding company, a Wyoming LLC is what I like to use. And you're going to set your Wyoming LLC up so it's going to be treated as a partnership for tax purposes. Now, why do I want to do that? Because if I made $10,000 through this LLC, it's going to flow into the blue box, the Wyoming Limited Liability Company, and that's going to come down to me on a K-1. And that's, a tax, that's because this LLC is going to file a tax return, a 1065. And when that comes down on the K-1, this 10K, if I were to go in and buy another property, the, I will look much better to a lender from a debt to income ratio than if I own that property in my own name or through a disregarded entity. And it has to do with how underwriters look at your 1040. You still have $10,000 in income there, but the question is, do they give you credit for that full 10,000? So if you want to make sure you're getting credit for all of your rental income, then I suggest you look at using a Wyoming LLC holding your rental LLC and have that tax as a partnership. So using LLCs, two main reasons why, taxes and asset protection. Now, the second thing that I said I was talking about, when you shouldn't move your property into a limited liability company, because everyone that listens to my, or watches my videos or, or has heard me uh, on, on a podcast, and they think, hey, Clint, I need to set up an LLC. Well, there's one case in which you should never set up a limited liability company or put your rental into an LLC, and that is if you intend to refinance the property. So here's the deal. If you close on this property right here, it's in my name, and I know that I wanna do a refi on that property within the next six months to a year. The problem is, is if you put that property into the LLC, you're possibly gonna prevent yourself from getting a cash out refi on that property because many people who invest in real estate, they wanna get those qualified mortgages. Those are the mortgages that come from the big banks or for, from a, a loan broker. When you go out there and you, you apply for a loan, they're underwriting those, those loans through Freddie Fannie. And so you're gonna get preferential rates, you're gonna pay less in points and things like that and fees to get that type of loan. That's what we call them qualified mortgages. Well, the deal is, is if you wanna do a cash out refi on a piece of property you own, a rental property, it needs to be seasoned for six months in order to qualify for a qualified mortgage. So if you put that property into the LLC, let's say I buy this in January, I move it into the LLC and I wanna refi it in March, 
What'll happen is when you go to get that refi, they'll say, listen, you gotta pull this property back out, put it in your name and season it for six months. So now you're gonna get stuck back another six months. So don't put your property into a limited liability company if you intend to do a refi within the next six months to a year. Keep it in your own name. Hey, I get, I've got received some other uh, questions on my channel about, you know, do we consult with individuals? Yes, here at Anderson, we do consult with individuals and help you strategize. There's a link in the show notes on how to obtain a free strategy session. Go ahead and check that out in the show notes if you um, if you want to have a free strategy session with someone here at the firm. And if you like the video, be sure to smash the like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, what the hell's going on? Subscribe to the channel right now so you get updates whenever I release a new video. Take care.